The release of Watch Dogs is nearly upon us, and we recently had the chance to play with a near final version of the game, though sadly not on our preferred format. Which one's the square button again? Just kidding, we know exactly how to operate a Sony playing station. While we reckon the main draw in Watch Dogs is likely to be the storyline missions, particularly with the Asian Tony Stark Geordie Chin backing you up, there's a whole Chicago out there to explore. With that in mind, we've come up with seven things we reckon you have to try. If you're not familiar with Aisha Tyler, she's the sastastic voice of Lana in comedy cartoon Archer. She's presented Ubisoft's E3 press conference for the past couple of years, and her reward for managing to sound enthusiastic about Shoot Mania is a cameo in Watch Dogs. Here she is, talking about pooping out passwords or something. I can't even get my head around this. What is, I forgot the pill that I'm just locked out of my entire digital life. And, get this, it only lasts a day, so apparently you poop it out or something. She appears three times, apparently, and of course the sick puppies amongst you will be wondering whether you can shoot her or not. Yep, there it is. Although we were kind of hoping she'd whip out a pair of Tech Nines and mow us down. Again, it's an Archer thing. Must have been a quiet week in the studio when they decided to put this in the game. Digital trips are sort of virtual reality apps that act like a drug, and easily the most dramatically different one is this spider tank rampage, which gives you six extra legs, a metal carapace and lots of guns. The movement of the tank is enough to seriously freak out arachnophobes, and you can leap from building to building in a way that somehow does no structural damage to the building itself. Anyway, if there's a mission that's giving you trouble, taking the city apart in a sci-fi robo-spider is a really good way to work out that frustration. Watchdog's hacking theme is all-pervasive, and that means it affects the multiplayer as well. The most unconventional mode is the one that allows you to invade another player's game and attempt to steal data from them. You'll have to initiate the hack and then stay out of sight as they zero in on your location. Screw it up and you'll have to evade them to salvage any points at all. Of course, if it can happen to them, it can happen to you too, but you'll be pleased to hear that the invading player is specifically told not to shoot the host player. Of course, if it's you being hacked, you are weapons free. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Look out, look out. You could wait at your local station for the next L train to roll in, but you do realise that if you can get a vehicle up there you can travel much, much faster, right? There are places where you can drop a car onto the track and you can easily wheel a motorbike up the staircase. It's perfect for a tour of this surprisingly expansive map. It's not just downtown Chicago that's recreated, there are various suburbs and other areas decorated in lovely autumnal colours. Just make sure you maintain control around some of those tighter corners. Safety first! If you're running from the police, the temptation is to stick to the main streets and drive as quickly as possible. But forget about the back alleys and you're missing half the city. He might not be an Ezio or a Connor, but Aidan Pierce isn't your stereotypical slobby hacker. He can shin up walls and nip behind cover. Stick around in a hidden position for long enough and the police will give up, meaning you can carry on with your business without having to drive all the way back across town to get to where you were. Of course, you can hurry the process up by frying helicopters just enough that they don't fall out of the sky. It'll take you a while to unlock the ability to cause a blackout of an entire city block, and even when you do unlock it, it's a limited use ability. So as you're clattering around the city, keep an eye out for the big CTOS transformers by the side of the road. Smash into one with your car for an instant tactical advantage. Blackouts cause enemies to forget where you are and make you harder to spot, but it's not long before the system reboots and you don't want to get caught like a deer in the headlights. It's completely optional, but if you find you've accidentally run over a few too many civilians and your reputation as a noble vigilante is in the toilet, you can improve your standing with the public by solving street crimes. In a damning portrayal of modern Chicago, there's crime happening everywhere, all the time. Fortunately, your hacking skills allow you to spot crime even before it happens, which even Batman can't do. 
then it's just a matter of sprinting in and roughing them up. Oh, do remember to wait for the crime to happen first before you dispense the justice. Made that mistake before. Don't move. Stay out of it. So there you go, seven things you must try in Watch Dogs, but what are you looking forward to doing when you first set foot in Chi Town? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you next time on Outside Xbox.